Good afternoon RVers, this is Greg from We RV, and today I'm going to grill some hamburgers. To be more specific, I'm going to griddle some hamburgers. And that's the whole topic of today's video, is the Blackstone griddle, which is the most highly acclaimed cooking device amongst RVers worth the effort. I'll tell you this, let's find out now. First things first, it's not a light thing. We all know that space and weight are an issue when RVing, especially full time. And this thing is not, not light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's I don't know, 30, 30 pounds easy, I would say. So this is a little table I got, Blackstone. And uh, it's, I've never done this before, so bear with me. It just clicks open. I'll put how much it costs. I believe it was overpriced in my opinion, but I don't honestly recall what it costs right now, but I can tell you. Honestly, I've never tried to do this, so I'm sure there's a lot of user error involved. But that was pretty slick. Actually, it fit right in the hole there, so that's not hard. But remember, it's a propane thing, so you either can use a propane tank, 20 gallon, 30 gallon, whatever you got, or if you're lucky like me, you've got one of these guys under your RV and you can just get a just get a connect connect it directly to that and you're good to go. Uh, but I have noticed it's crooked and I have to level it. Uh, okay, now I gotta hook up the gas. Actually I have to find the hose that I used to hook up for the gas. I assumed it was in the package. It's not, give me a second. Found my little shelf, but still haven't found the, the gas hose. I think this video is becoming more a testament to how to better organize your life than <laughs> if I should be using this griddle. <laughs> okay. Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Found it! It's actually pretty easy to put this on. It's just a quick gas quick connect. The side goes into here. I'm having some trouble getting this line attached. It's been a while. <clears throat> it's push pull, not pull push. Ugh. Okay. There's no accounting for intelligence when you're setting this stuff up. Pull, lock. Okay. There's a valve down here that I gotta turn on. Boom. Up here. Make sure my knobs are both. Okay, let's try and fire this puppy up. All right. Okay. Whew. So while this is heating up a little bit, it's probably a good time to bring up the fact that it's a griddle. It's not a grill. When I first started RVing, all, everyone, all the influencers said, get the Blackstone. I don't know if they were sponsored or what but everyone said get the blackstone grill you like it you get it so i did and i got it on a super black friday sale for real cheap and it's a 20 inch one so that's kind of the good one but if i'm honest when i bought it i thought it was a grill and in fact it's a griddle now there's nothing wrong with griddles but they're not grills uh griddle is great for cooking breakfast you know a lot of hash browns and eggs and stuff and great for uh you know, stir fries and things like that, and smash burgers. Ooh, who doesn't love a good smash burger? But it's not a grill. So first thing to note, don't get a grill when you think you're getting a, don't get a grill when you think you're getting a, don't get a grill when you think you're getting a griddle. If I have to say that one more effing time. So first thing, don't get a griddle when you're trying to get a grill. So on tonight's menu is hamburgers. Super easy. The prefab side, there's some smash burgers going on. They're just, you know, patties. Uh, very simple to cook. Uh, of course, we could have done that inside, uh, except in we didn't bring our skillet with us this time, so we really just have a frying pan, which, I, you know, I don't want to cook. Personally, I don't like cooking things in frying pans like that. However, on, if I'm honest, a griddle is just a big frying pan, isn't it? So again, I'm asking myself, 
Why do I have a griddle when really I wanted a grill? Anyway, I do know from watching some griddlers that you're not supposed to let this thing heat up too much. So why don't we go get the burgers and get them going? So this is probably a good time to remind you that this is not a cooking show, not even the slightest. I've got prefab burgers here, black Angus patties. I'm gonna put a little butter on the grill. Okay, while those are getting going, this is a good time to point out that there's some accoutrement that you need with a griddle that you don't need with a grill. One, you need one of these bad boys, because this is not a cover. I should say with this griddle, you'll want one of these bad boys. And probably with any, because it localizes the heat. But the cover on here says right on it, don't, don't use it as a heated cover. It's just, it just covers it when it's closed. It's just a protective cover. It's not to be used for cooking. So you can't use this. They do have them that you can buy. I think, as I recall, they're kind of pricey. Ding, right there. So you need that, and then, you know, like I don't, I've never used one of these. I bought one because I thought you should use have one. So I bought this just a month ago. I haven't used it yet. But you know, if you're smashing burgers, that's probably a way to go. It's a smashy bashy thing. But that's just another thing. You know, of course, any grill or griddle has some, you know, accessories you're going to need to get. But I left my car door open. Well, I'm already losing some flame to the wind. Anyway. So it's just a little windy out here, I'd say. And already it's getting hard to keep the griddle to temp. Like, look. I, I feel like I shouldn't be able to do that. I can touch it. And it's on high. And the flames look, you know, it's not one of those situations where um, you probably know that if you're using a propane system and you turn the propane on and it's open at the end of the system, it'll shut it down. And some people do that. They open up their grill, grill out, or their valve on their grill before they open up that valve. And it's not one of those situations. You're just having a hard time with the wind. You know, I don't know, I'm just saying. It's another consideration. Well, should I use this? I don't know. Let's try it. But, um, no. Oh, I got these sheets. Ding. Ding. All right. I don't know what this does. I mean, it's, I expect it smashes. The, I see them do, you know, I see short order cooks use these all the time. They just stick it on top. I guess it just presses it against, or maybe you heat it first. I, mm. Let me put it on there. I don't know. Any suggestions about grilling? Because. Regardless of where I think I should have a grill or not, I got one. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of it anytime soon. So if you have any suggestions about how to grill or griddle stuff, or cook stuff on a grill or griddle, <laughs> I'm all ears. Cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking. <laughs> Actually, to my wife's dismay, my biggest mistake when I'm cooking meat is I undercook it. So I think I overcompensated and overcooked it this time. She's down! Okay, I am nothing if not about presentation, so... Da da da! I don't know, does that look good? <laughs> I'm not, I don't. <laughs> not a cook. <laughs> but I can create things that I like, like a big fat double hamburger. Probably slightly overcooked, but we're gonna give it a go. Again, I'd like to remind you, this is not a cooking show. <laughs> ah. Oh, not bad at all. Hmm. I always wanted to do this, taste things on camera and go, oh. it's delicious. 
even though I'm not sure I like it at all. Actually, it's not bad. It's not great. It's mid middle end affair. So, if I can say so myself, that wasn't a half bad burger. It wasn't a half good burger. It was something in the middle. <laughs> it was, you know, it was okay. But now it's time to talk about the thing that I like least about griddling versus grilling, and that is cleanup. If you're like me, and you have a grill, once you're done grilling, you just close the cover for a while, you keep the, the grill on, and you let all the bits of food there just kind of, what's the word, calcify? Not calcify, carbonite, carbonate? You know, when all four points of carbon touch other four points of carbon, it becomes a diamond, but it's black and it's in your grill. That thing. Because it just falls down into the fire, and fire is good. Fire takes care of everything. But in a griddle, that just can't stay there. It has to get cleaned up. And it's kind of a kerfuffle. Let's go. Now, again, this is the way I do it. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it's still, I can guarantee you, it's more mess than a grill. You, you know, the grill, you just brush for a few times, get the black things out of the way, and you're done. I used to do that before I even eat. Uh, the griddle, as I understand it, you're supposed to do it while it's still hot and spray water and open it up, the steam pours out. So you want a lot of paper towels? A lot of paper towels. I just pulled these over and over and over. See, like that. Then I just spray, and spray, and spray, and spray all day. Ah! Yuck. So, lastly, you need to season it. Now, I just use canola oil. But I swear, some people insist you have to like import uh, finely seasoned goat hooves oil from Caspanistan. Ooh. Grab more paper towels. Sorry, environment. Ta-da! Okay, that's it. Cleanup's done. I just put on the cover. And I don't have a, a weather cover, so I just put the case in which it came. And I just cover it up. Easy peasy. So final thoughts and in all seriousness, I of course understand that grilling and griddling or cooking on a griddle, I don't know how you really say it, are uh, things that require technique and skill and training and experience and you know we all have our own different level of it. But again the reason I bring this video up is if you're a full-time RVer, is that the right cooking device for you? I, I'm telling you now, it's heavy, it's a pain to set up, and it's too much for a full-timer. Full-timers don't cook outside all that much and they move around too much to cart that thing in and out of their, their truck. So that's my final thought on it. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today. Please hit that like and subscribe because I'm trying so hard to become an influencer. It's really important to me, guys, okay? <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching, and as my wife tells me to say, travel on.